And the 11th annual Wakefield Dog Fest kicks off Friday, February 7th. To be exact, runs until March 1st. Let's find out what to expect. Joining us right now, we have the festival director, Melanie Willis. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Dylan. It's good to have you here. Very nice to be here. So Thank you. A lot of fun. Congratulations, 11 years. Yeah. So why was it created then, 11 years ago? Well, um, you might notice it takes place in the winter. Yeah. And the founders of the festival, Brenda and Robert Rooney, um, Wakefield residents decided that uh, people wanted some inspiration in the middle of the winter. Mm -hmm. you know? Something to do. Something to do, something to talk about. That's good. Okay. Uh, have some fun. There's going to be plenty of fun. Yep. Theme themed weekends as well? Yeah, that's right. Each weekend, there are four weekends. Each weekend has its own theme, and so the films for that particular weekend follow those particular themes. Okay, so what are some of the themes then that okay. people can look well, forward to? The first film, I mean the first weekend rather, uh, we always open with a Quebec film mm -hmm. and we expanded it a little bit this year because of the theming and so it's called All Quebec All the Time. Mm -hmm. So the films on that weekend are Quebec made films. Um, okay. The first one which is the opening gala film is a film called Pipe Dreams and uh, the second one is a film called Dark Suns. Okay, how about we have a look at uh, a clip Pipe dreams Excellent. right here on daytime. Most people are freaking out. It's like Olympic for Oregon. Every competitor are dreams about winning. All right, there you go, Pipe Dreams. So who created that, that film? Uh, it's a, she's a woman by the name of Stacey Tenenbaum. She's a Montreal resident. Um, she happens to have known uh, through her family the people who run the Canadian International Organ Competition. Hmm. And she kind of uh, went there um, not expecting to be thrilled and was thrilled by it. Mm -hmm. And so she decided at that point she was interested in trying to make a film about people. Uh aiming for that conversation, or, or sorry, that competition. Lots of organ music, I, I bet, throughout the course yeah. of that film. Yes, you might <laughs> <Okay>. say. <laughs> okay, let's talk about uh, some of the other, uh, uh, what, what else is happening in the opening gala night? Okay, the opening gala, Stacy will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, she's also going to be there on the Saturday, but uh, she's there for the gala, and we're going to have a big party afterwards, uh, as we always do on opening night, and uh, the Nublis are going to be uh, generously provided by uh, Wakefield Mill, so Good. it's going to be fun. You said Nibblies, right? Yes. Good, I like Nibblies. <laughs> nice. Tell me about this, some of the other uh, film choices that people can look forward to throughout okay. the, uh, the festival. Um, well, it kind of runs the gamut, quite honestly. The second weekend, for instance, is uh, it's called Overdrive, and it has basically to do with competitive spirit. So there are two films that weekend that have everything to do with that. Uh, one is about uh, the Mongol Derby. It's a film called, um, what is it called? Blank. Uh -oh. All the wild horses and here, um, yeah. follows a number of people as they go on this ridiculous, ridiculous derby of a thousand kilometers across the Mongolian desert. Wow. So you can imagine that takes a bit of competitive spirit. Yeah. Um, the other one that weekend is called uh, We Are Sailor People mm -hmm. uh, and concerns a, a couple from Nova Scotia who just decide that they're going to win the world in uh, uh, dig, ding, dinghy sailing, pardon me. Mm -hmm. So they set their sights on doing that and it's their kind of docu-memoir as they uh, try to try to accomplish that. Okay, so it's important to check out a festival like this because I can imagine that these films probably won't be shown in many other locations. Very, very unlikely that you'll see most of these films. Okay. Yeah. Sponsors, super important to what you do. Volunteers, I can mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah, yeah, our sponsors and volunteers are our, our festival. We couldn't run it without them. Uh, we have a, a little uh, gang, I would say, of about 80 volunteers, yeah. and they do everything for us. So without them, we don't run. And likewise, the sponsors, um, their support in their way, financial and otherwise, uh, is mm -hmm. invaluable to us. Keeps it running. Yeah. You can download the full program at your website, I've noticed, which is great. Weekend passes, so can you, when you're purchasing tickets, can you purchase just for certain days, weekends, the full yep. festival? Yeah, they're single tickets, of course. Um, they're $15 in, uh, with tax included. Uh, weekend pass is 25 
five dollars, um, and it gives you ten percent at certain participating restaurants in the village. That's great. Um, and then the festival pass, if you're a real keener, you can see all the films in the festival for a hundred dollars, and you also get that ten percent. Good. And let's talk about the uh, location as well, the Santé de Wakefield La Pêche. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice location. Have you seen it? You know, I haven't seen it. I've been oh, to Wakefield. My beautiful you, location. Yeah, you got to go. It's a beautiful facility, and it was basically put together by people in the village. Um, beautiful facility, state-of-the-art uh, cinema mm -hmm. in it for us. Uh, it's right on Valley Road as you head into Wakefield, down the hill. Yeah. Interesting. About 30 seconds left here, Melanie. Why, why are festivals like this so important? Ah, why are festivals so important? Well, it's a different experience to sit in a room with a whole bunch of other people in the dark and see a film mm -hmm. and then talk about it. It's quite different than seeing it in your basement. Mm -hmm. Because directors and the creators yeah, will be on hand. Yeah, we have all the directors come to visit. Uh, we have panel discussions and we have parties. Parties are fun too. Yeah. WakefieldDogFest.ca. Thank you very much, Melanie, for being here. Thank you, Dylan. Great work. Uh, details on the gift of jazz coming up next on Daytime.